Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'm G and this is G's Nail Spot. And today I've got another little treat for you. I've got some more wonderful Madame Glam gel polishes. And these were my choice and I can't wait to show them to you because I'm just, oh, I'm so amazed. These are amazing. I definitely had magpie brain though when I ordered these because <laughs> I realized out of the four, I've ordered three very, very sparkly, sparkly sparklies that uh, you probably wouldn't use all three in one set, although that would be interesting. Um, but I've got three sparklies and I've got the velvet matte top coat because I've heard so much about it. I just had to try it, even though I'm not much of a matte girl. But anyway, these are what I'm excited about. These are the peacock gels. And just look, just look how amazing. So sparkly, so bright, so amazing. Cosmic sparkle, dazzling light. Really, I think those names just say it all. <laughs> but you know I'm loving the Madame Glam polishes um, because they're just so lovely to work with. And these are just, well, these are definitely my favourites. I'm a bit clumsy in this video. I don't know what's happening with my hands. So I keep knocking things. I've had to edit loads of things where I've knocked the camera several times. But anyway, this is a Cosmic Sparkle. And this is my absolute favourite. It's amazing. It just, and this is it on three different backgrounds. So it's on a clear, on a white, on a black. And this is Cosmic Sparkle with the velvet matte top coat on. So that's fawn on the far right. That's what it looks like with a matte. And it just looks different, doesn't it? On every single nail. I am way too excited <laughs> about this gel polish, but seriously, you need to go and buy it. It's just, it's so versatile and so beautiful. The camera does not do it justice. It's the most amazing, on black, it's the most amazing purpley pink. And it's got little glitter flakes and all sorts in it. Dazzling Light is another peacock gel, but this time this one, as I'm going to point out here, is a cat eye peacock gel polish. How much more can they put in one gel polish? That's, that's just so much, but amazing. Look at it. So it's got all those gorgeous peacock glittery flake is in there and then when you put a magnet on as you can see at the top of the bottle and on the nail you pull that pigment together so you get the silvery blue pigment wherever you put the magnet so on this I just put the magnet across so I got the line um but yeah so much in one gel and this one is just like a, a clear gel with sparkling in it called Am I Clear? This was recommended to me by Tara over at Bases Loaded Lacquer. She recommended it to me a while ago when I was saying I was looking for a clear gel with just little bits of glitter in it. Um, and I only had an IBD gel polish that did that. This is, look at it, it is fire. Look at those burning embers on that middle nail on black. It's just, again, it's one of those polishes that just looks different whether you put it on clear, black or white. And it's got little tiny, tiny, tiny glitter particles in there. And as you can see on the black, it goes just fiery orangey yellow with some green. On the clear, it's multi. And on the white, it's pretty multi holographic. So again, looks different every time you put it on a different background. Amazing. I can't wait to use this. Because in this set, I'm just going to be using the Cosmic Sparkle, but I'm going to use it on two different colours. And I'm going to be using this on one of the nails as well. Because like I say, I'm not a huge matte nail fan. And this one's really nice. A little bit cloudy. And I know I've got a couple of um, matte top coats that are cloudy, different degrees of cloudy. Um, but I'm just going to show you what they look like in the bottles now. So this is dazzling light so this is the so you can you see how it's a different color it's like a bluey silvery color there with all those gorgeous peacock color flakies in but obviously it goes black when you put the magnet on because the magnet pulls all that blue and silver together and this is what cosmic sparkle looks like look look at that oh so purpley so amazing <laughs> i can't get over how good it is and am I clear? Again, this is this is sparkly loveliness as well. Quite thick they are, the last of the peacocks and this one. Are really nice and thick. So you can get away with definitely one coat because you're putting it on top of a colour coat most of the time anyway. So you wouldn't need more than one unless you wanted it super, super sparkly thickness. So I guess it depends what you want. Anyway, on with the nails. <laughs> So I've got my usual little kitty claws going off because th this is going to be a set that I'm wearing for a work conference that I've got to go to next week. Um, so I'm going to take Madame Glam's Perfect Black and I'm going to paint three out of the nails in Perfect Black. So all of them apart from the thumb and apart from the ring finger because those two are going to be white. 
that I'm going to paint those in the perfect black and they will get two coats but I'm only going to show you doing one uh, and then we're going to get sparkly, going to get so sparkly and going to get some stamping goodness in there as well uh, to go with the theme of the haunted house. I don't know where I got the haunted house idea from, I just... It's probably because I wanted to use my favourite stamping plate again. Um, so here's the white pudding gel by Madame Glamour. I don't have a white, the perfect white polish. Um, so I thought I'd use this pudding gel because I haven't really used it. I've only swatched with it um, because I'm not as confident using um, gel pots, I guess. So I've got my little gel brush here. It's uh, actually a Born Pretty one. Um, and I'm going to use the pudding gel to do the two last nails in white and you know i'm still i'm still getting used to like i say painting with these little pudding gels i've only got this one um and i think i need to remember not to use the same technique as i do with a bottle brush and i found <clears throat> excuse me for these it's better to sort of load up the brush and then sort of really flatten the brush down as you paint it and do long strokes you can't do bitty strokes because you end up with uh, lines and stuff because they're really thick consistency, the pudding gels, obviously. But they give great coverage. So this is what the nails look like when they've had two coats. Uh, black and white. I love a bit of monochrome, I do. That appeals to me. But anyway, this is where it gets sexy, guys. This is where these amaz this amazing cosmic sparkle gel is just going to shine. So I think I... Uh, I might have even slowed this down just for extra deliciousness. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Look, super slow-mo. But look at it on the brush. And how weird is this look? On the brush, purpley pink. But when you put it on the white, it goes to more of a pastel rainbow. So you've got more blues and greens in there. You do get the pinks and purples as the light shines on it. But isn't that bizarre how it looks totally different on that white nail as it does on the brush? But it looks lovely. I'm definitely getting sort of, for this set on the white nails, definitely getting pastel goth vibes. Which is not, not really me, but I like it for a change. And when I do the stamping on top, it's, it's, yeah, I love it. But here we go for more ultimate sexy jolness. <laughs> you can see I'm so excited about this. Just watch this go on the nail, guys. Watch this, look. You ready? Oh, look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, that's just and the coverage because it's so thick and there are so many flakies crammed in that gel it's just stunning I, I could i could literally just keep painting nails like this exact one just black nails with this on <laughs> and i would not get bored and again the camera's not doing it the full justice but you definitely just get the idea look so on the black, you get more of the pinks, purples, some orange, and then occasionally those blues and greens come through. So it's like the direct opposite. Whoa, old. <laughs> Nearly had a nail fail there. <laughs> Magnets are not great on these stands. But anyway, back to the white nail. I've sped it up again now because, you know, we've had our moment. But you can see how different this looks. So you get, I mean, they're already great value for money because you get huge bottles from Madame Glam. But yeah you can get so many different looks from this one gel polish so i'm taking an ombre brush and i'm just gonna drag it down on this pink finger rather than cover it all as much as i wanted to cover it all in that cosmic sparkle i just thought just as a little bit of variety i would just do like a fade with it so i've still got the black tip but look cosmic sparkle at the top Seriously, guys, I, c I can't get over this. It's just, why have I not seen these before? The peacock gels, why are they, are they, I don't know if they're new or, I feel like they're new, but I don't feel like I got much um, info about them on Madame Glam. I don't feel like they had as much marketing as maybe the collections do. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I've just not noticed, could just be me. Let me know if you've seen these peacock gels because they are amazing. So anyway, this is where we're up to. So we've got the amazingness of the Cosmic Sparkle on there. So now it's time for the stamping and the Halloween collection from Moe London. You know this is my favourite. And this is plate 16, which is probably my favourite. Or it's up there with my favourites. Stamping plates from this Halloween collection. Got my usual Moe stamper and scraper. No change there. <laughs> and I think I'm going to be using the black 
Knight, yeah, Black Knight, uh, Mary London stamping polish. I don't know why I show you the bottom because you can't see it. It does actually say Black Knight on the bottom, but yeah, I realized at the time when I was doing that, you cannot read that because it's black writing on a black uh, stamping polish. <laughs> anyway, I'm going for the Haunted House theme. So on this one, we are gonna go with the Haunted House and a bit of a moony, cloudy sky. And then I think I go straight onto the ring finger, the other white nail, and do some stamping on that. So I'm gonna take a little breath, stop waffling, and let you enjoy the stamping goodness. Right, hi, I'm back. <laughs> and here we are using the velvet matte top coat on the index finger, so your Peter pointer, because I'm gonna put a little sparkly jewel on this one. So I figured this would be a good nail to test out the matte coat. And this is what matte black looks like. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I actually don't mind it. Like I say, I'm not fully into matte, but you know what, quite like it on the black. And I like it even more when this goes on. So these are little crystal schools. They're amazing. I got these from Shein. Um, not a lot. Oh, you see, they, there goes the camera. <laughs> I did that a lot on this day. Here's a close up of the pretty purpley, bluey, crystally skull that I thought matched that cosmic sparkle gel perfectly. And I'm using this Born Pretty uh, extension gel stuff. And you can do a lot with this stuff. Um, now, excuse the way I'm pull it, pulling it, pulling it out the tub like that. Unfortunately, I stored the tub upside down. I didn't realize. So all the stuff's fell to the top. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Fell to the top. But yeah, it was upside down. I've now rectified that situation. But uh, anyway, here's me getting... So, so this stuff's... It's not bad to use. You can use it to sort of mold 3D. Things I used it to um, create Rudolph's nose on a set at Christmas. Made it into a little round ball. But you can also use it to secure gems and things. And this being such a, a good size crystal skull, I didn't really trust just using glue. And like I said, I'm gonna be wearing these at a work conference next week. So I do not wanna be losing my little crystal skull on the train journey up there. <laughs> Cause I'll be gutted. So on the crystal skull, so I'm using it to stick it on cause I'm hoping it's gonna be super duper secure. So I'm using it to just pop that skull on there. Look how glorious and amazing and bluey and purpley it is on that nail. So the contrast of the sparkly, shiny to the matte nail, I'm quite liking. Let me know in the comments below what you think of that little combo. But this is where we're up to. And I say where we're up to, we are done guys. We are totally done. I just need that super shiny, lovely Madame Glam top coat. And that's a wrap. But let me know in the comments below what you think of this design, please, guys. I love to read your comments and I do always reply because I love the ideas that you guys come out with. I've had some great conversations with you guys when you thought about things that I could change on sets and I absolutely love it. So please, please leave me a comment. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. It doesn't cost you a penny, but it means you won't miss any of my future videos. And this is the final glossy, shiny set. Also, don't forget I have a Madame Glam discount code. I popped it on the screen earlier. I'll pop it on the screen again. Uh, the links are all below in the description box. So go and get yourself 30% off using my code. So you can go and buy this Cosmic Sparkle. I highly recommend it. It's beautiful. <laughs> off you go. Go and get it now. <laughs> 
if you want of course and thank you so much for watching this video guys like i say drop me a comment let me know what you think and i will see you in the next one bye